Hey everyone, this is Danielle and welcome to my channel L Living and today's video featuring the history and timeline of Dutch Wonderland located in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. I'll be telling you all about how this wonderfully charming and truly family-centered amusement park came into existence and their growth thereafter. A huge thanks to Dutch Wonderland for giving me the really cool facts, pictures, and timeline I used to make this video. But before we get into it, I would really appreciate your support if you could subscribe. But either way, thanks for watching and let's get to it. Dutch Wonderland began in 1963 when potato farmer turned in owner Earl Clark opened up 14 acres with four rides. Mr. Clark had no amusement park experience, but that did not stop him from making his vision a reality. After building the Congress Inn in 1959, Earl saw the need for fun family entertainment in Lancaster, so the vision of Dutch Wonderland began. The four original rides were the Wonderland Special Train, the Lady Gay Riverboat, the Turnpike with Antique Cars, and the Whale Boats, now known as Dragon's Lair. And up until 2017, when the Riverboat retired, all four of these original rides were still in operation, and you can still ride the other three today. Two years later, in 1965, the Old Mill Stream Campground opens adjacent to the park. And in that same year, Mr. Clark purchases 56 more acres to expand. Over the next three years, the following rides and attractions debut and are still a part of the park today. The monorail, sky ride, big slide, now called fun slide, and the gondola cruise. The Dolphin Show had a long run until 1981 when it was replaced by the Great American High Dive Show. In 1970, the classic ride, Bumper Cars, arrived in Dutch Wonderland. In 1974, Dutch Wonderland gave us the old 99 train ride. Then in 1977, one of my favorite rides debuted, the Log Flume Ride, now known as Double Splash Flume. In 1978, Dutch Wonderland gave us Astroliner. It was one of the very first simulator rides made specifically for amusement parks. 1982, the Carousel, the Ferris Windmill, and the Great American High Dive Show debut. Then in 1984, Dutch Wonderland debuted the Space Shuttle, and then in 1986, the Flying Trapeze. In 1988, Dutch Wonderland celebrated their 25th anniversary, and they also added Panda Party. In 1992, Dutch Wonderland puts in their very first coaster, the Sky Princess Roller Coaster, later renamed Kingdom Coaster in 2007. Then sadly in 1993, the founder of Dutch Wonderland, Earl Clark, passes away. But what a legacy he left in providing a place where families make lasting memories together. The Clark family ran the park together after his passing, up until 2001, when it was sold to Hershey Entertainment. But how great is this? There are some employees in management today who have been around since the time of Earl Clark and one who has been with them for 30 years. So for now, I'm going to pause the commentary and just show you the debut years of some popular rides and attractions. 